another big game coming up. We showed you the points table. It's 10 versus 10. That's the points we're talking about. It's at the Firosha Kotla. It's the Delhi Capitals who are taking on the Mumbai Indians. That should be an absolute cracker because uh, Delhi have uh, beaten Mumbai in Mumbai. Remember that was the first time they announced themselves, Rishabh Pant and company, at the Wankere Stadium. So this is uh, time for Mumbai to come and say, we can do well in your backyard. Yeah, they would want to do well because last year they didn't qualify because of that last game when they played against Delhi, when Delhi was out and probably at the bottom. They needed to win that one game and they didn't win. So it would be in back of their mind. Delhi has, Mumbai hasn't played very well in Delhi. So important game for them. Neither is Delhi. Yeah. <laughs> It's going to be a classic. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but this year, you, you like watching Delhi because I think they've been let free. We see uh, teams in the IPL, they're not too much planning. And when something goes wrong, Rishabh Pant should be holding his innings together. Purithi Shaw should not you know, go the way he goes at the top. But I like the way Delhi's played this year. I don't know what, it was, it's Ricky Ponting or Saurav Ganguly or whatever it is. They've let them free, let, let them be youngsters and you know, play the way they like to play. And they've stacked up five bowlers at the back. So they've, they've got a plan, the way they want to play. They've lost a few, they've won a few, but they've carried on playing the care, carefree cricket. And I think that's, that's when a team is really dangerous in this format. When you plan and you play in a certain way, you're, you always allow the opposition to be in the game. And, you know, a couple of overs here and there, you know, it could all turn around. So I like Delhi this year, the style of which Delhi's been playing. And, and often we talk about fortresses. I mean, Mali used to be called a fortress. Jaipur certainly used to be one. But Delhi have been su sublime on the road. I've been told that fortress is also a bad word. Okay, fine. What's uh, the opposite to that word? Because uh, that's exactly what the Delhi ground is for Delhi. <laughs> exactly. They've been brilliant on the road. They could have been had a 100% record had it not been for that uh, outstanding run chase in Mohali. But really they need to start turning that into some sort of a backyard of their own yeah they did i mean they played well uh, against kkr they won the super over at the venue so they can win that you know i think the pitch has let them down on a couple of occasions and when you've got that younger to, you know just you mentioned the mentality of a younger set of players and with shikadawa and just finding a little bit of form you would hope tomorrow that with them winning a few games on the road they'll go back no matter what the surface they'll play with confidence and they'll have a pop and they'll have a go they're backed up by a good bowling attack um, they, they look to me like they've got some really good combinations. They've got the, the, the experience at the top, they've got some flamboyancy in the middle and they've got great variations with the bowling, so they're dangerous. You know, with Ricky Ponting and Saraf Ganguly in that dugout as well, they've got all the experience and they'll be just telling the kids, you would hope, just keep playing. Yeah. Don't worry about too much, don't worry about what everyone's saying, just keep playing, keep backing your skills, keep playing the fearless way, but also You've got to use your mind as well. You can't just always play that way. If you get into that winning position, just because on a couple of occasions they've kind of got into winning positions and you know collapsed. So they've always got to be able to play fearless, but also when you get to that winning zone, just make sure you're just smart and get over the line. Yeah, 144 for three chasing 167. That would be one of the big ones of the season. Let's have a look at their squad and see if the experts have any possible changes you want. It, it's sort of a winning side. Uh, obviously, they lost out on Ingram. He went to see the birth of his child. So Colin Munro came in. It was almost a like-for-like -like change. So he wouldn't really want to tamper with this. Looks good on paper. In fact, it worked for them. Colin Munro, you know, took that pressure off and you know started that innings at that pace, which allowed everybody else to play. Maybe Chris Morris has looked off form to me. He's looked totally different as a bowler uh, because, you know, Ishant's done well, Rabada's done well. It's Morris who's probably leaking runs there, so and he's not done much with the bat. So if you want to change there, maybe that, that's the only option yeah, I see. Sandy, Lam Lam Lamachane, of course, yeah. comes in for Kimo Paul or you still keep Kimo Paul? No, Kimo Paul because they've been excellent. playing in Delhi with Lamachane yeah. and uh, Kimo Paul did well in the last game. But Might be Morris. Morris may miss out. You know, I'm not too sure you need four quicks. Yeah. The you Vegas, can add so. another spinner in there and probably or strengthen with batting if you want, if you feel that you need a little solidity in the middle. But because even Mumbai, their strength has been their seamers as well. So, you know, they won't enjoy that surface either. Uh, Mumbai struggles on wickets like this for only one simple reason, because they always play behind that scoreboard. They try and keep 50, 60 of the last four or five when they are chasing. And if, if Pollard or one of them doesn't get going, they get stuck on wickets like this. Whereas in Mumbai, they get away most of the times. Hardik's, you know, got, got them away or Pollard or somebody. But every time they go out and they struggle is when it's slow and low wickets where the last five overs, you cannot pick 50, 60 every time. 
So you know, they, they'll also have to change the way they play. Maybe start at the top and not hold everything at the back. Let's have a look at uh, their team, and uh, we know one person who's not going to be part of that lineup is Alzari Joseph, of course, after that injury. So we'll uh, leave him out of the equation. Anyway, there was talk that Malinga should have been playing in his place despite that six for, but they gave him another chance. And uh, well, it was uh, a blow to his ego and to his shoulder, all at one go. <laughs> so. Uh, perhaps another spinner, Michael Markande, hasn't been seen since the start of the season. Yeah, they could easily, you know, re replace one of the seams with uh, Mark Andy. But you know, they're playing okay. They're, they're winning games. You know, they've lost a couple, but they're also winning key moments in games. You just feel that they've got a few players in good form. Hardik Pandya's been outstanding. Pollard's in good form. Quinton de Kock's just started to find a little bit of form. Jasper Bumra, you know exactly what you're going to get get from him. So they're a team that's got individuals. In form. I, I still don't think they play brilliantly as a team. I don't think you, you kind of look at the Mumbai Indians and think that everything's well oiled and they're all smooth and plain sailing. They generally rely on one or two individuals to stick their hand up. So, you no, know, it'll be a, it'll be a great game tomorrow night. Two teams that have got a bit of confidence. Two teams that will need to assess the conditions quickly because I think they'll arrive tomorrow evening and kind of look at the pitch and go, "What's it going to do?" Because I don't think you're ever quite sure what's going to happen in Delhi.